and today's topic is set theory at the end of today's lesson listener will be able to one define a set and set notations that is the language of set two define and list the elements of the junior and intersection of two or more sets three define and list the elements of the complement of a set and four draw venn diagram to store data and solve questions you are welcome definition of a set in a simple language a set is a well-defined collection of objects that is a group of items such as set of cutlery set of furniture set of animals and so on and so forth it should be noted here that a set should be represented by capital letters and the elements represented with small letters for example if i pick set a having the capital letter with elements small a b c d e f i should also quickly note here that the elements are the constituents of a given set set notations number one brace brackets or wobbling brackets unlike it is used in english as parentheses here we use either wobbling bracket or brace bracket in which all the sets the element of that set are kept within this brace bracket number two number of elements in a set this is very simple in the last example i used set a has the element small a b c d e f making a total of six so number of elements in set a is six number three capital e reads as an element is a member of a given set number four capital e with a stroke is just the reverse of number three it means that an element is not a member of a given set number five junior of two or more set it is denoted by ju it means another set which will contain all the elements that are in the two or more sets without repetition of any element number six intersection intersection is usually denoted with an invited inverted ju or n it means another set which will contain only the common elements between the two or more sets number seven phi or open and close brace bracket the empty set this is a set without any element for example if you are to mention any figure that can be divided by four but cannot be divided by two you cannot get any one this is an empty set number eight mu or epsilon this is used to denote a universal set and what's a universal set a universal set is a set that contains all elements it is a set from which where all other sets are formed that is a general boundary to all other sets number nine subset from the word sub it is usually a smaller set taken out from the universal set that is part of a set and lastly the complement of a given set the complement of a set is another set which will contain only the elements that are in the universal set but are not in the set concern a simple example if the universal set has the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and set q has the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 the remaining three figures that is 8 9 and 10 that are in the universal set and are not in set q are what you call the complement of set q these are the few ones on the set notations stay tuned i'll be right back you are welcome back and i want to pick a question that will now encompass all these aforementioned the universal set is defined as epsilon is equal to 
one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and its subset capital a capital b and capital c are defined as follows a is equal to even numbers b is equal to prime numbers and c is equal to odd numbers a part of the question now says write down the sets a b and c now let's work it together set a even numbers from the universal set the even numbers are 2 4 6 8 and 10 set b prime numbers prime numbers from the universal set are 2 3 5 and 7 c odd numbers from the universal set are 1 3 5 7 9 so with this we have written down all the subsets of the universal set a b and c let's go to the b part of the question which now says find one a union b two b intersection c three a complement four b complement union c complement five b complement intersection a complement and lastly a complement intersection b complement intersection c complement so the answers a union b looking at the sets a and b let us create another set that will contain all the elements of a and b without repetition so that will be a union b is equal to 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 10 2 b intersection c that is the common element between b and c if you look at this very well we see 3 is common 5 is common and 7 is common so b intersection c is equal to 3 5 7 a complement looking at the set we have numbers 1 to 10 and a is even numbers so the complements of a are 1 3 5 7 9 that is the odd number so we can also shorten it as a complement is equal to c that is set c 1 3 5 7 9 is a complement just as a is also a complement of set c b complement union c complement if you are going to do this we must list b complements which are 1 4 6 8 9 10 and c complement 2 4 6 8 10 we now see the union of the two that is b complement union c complement will now be 1 2 4 6 8 9 10 i hope you are getting it then number five b complement intersection a complement looking at a and b complement you now see that it is only one and nine that are common so b complement intersection a complement is equal to one and nine lastly a complement intersection b complement intersection c complement when you look at a complement b complement and c complement there is nothing that is common to all of them so we just open the brace bracket and close it without any element in it or write ordinary phi thank you stay tuned for the last session i'll be right back you are welcome back to the last session of this program in this particular session, we'll be discussing Venn diagram. This is a diagrammatic or pictorial representation of sets. It can be oval in shape or cyclic. It was invented by an English mathematician and philosopher, John Venn, between 1834 and 1923. I will take one question that will involve two sets 
and another question that will involve three sets. So let us start with the two set first. Write down this question. In a class of 35 students, 25 speak French, 15 speak German. How many students speak both French and German? From this question, we will see that there is already an intersection, that is, both French and German. You now use a circle to represent French and another circle to represent German, in which there will be an overlap in the two circles. So that overlap is called the intersection, which you are going to represent using alphabet X, that is, those who speak the two languages. From the French part, those who speak French only will now be 25 minus that X. Those who speak German only will be 15 minus X. If you now add everything together, that is 25 minus X plus X plus 15 minus X, everything must be equal to the number of students in that class, which is equal to 35. So 25 plus 15 minus X will give us 35. 40 is equal to 35 plus x, where x is now equal to 40 minus 35. x is equal to 5. This one simply means 5 students speak both French and German. In the same vein, I want to take a question that will involve three sets. So also write this question down. In a class of 40 students, 17 offer mathematics. 17 offer physics and 19 offer geography. 5 offer both physics and geography. 6 offer both mathematics and geography. And 6 offer both mathematics and physics. Full stop. If two students offer neither of the three subjects, find the number of students who offer all the three subjects. Analyzing this question, we'll see that there is overlap between physics and math, physics and geography, geography and math. And there's a general intersection. That's what the question is asking. How many offer all the three subjects? So we're going to use N to represent that intersect, the general intersection. So if that one is N, you now say for physics and mathematics, it will now be 6 minus n, that's physics and mathematics only. Physics and geography only, 5 minus n. Mathematics and geography only, 6 minus n. Then for mathematics only, 17 minus 6 minus n, minus n, minus 6 minus, minus n. Physics only, 17 minus 6 minus n, minus n minus 5 minus n. Then geography only 19 minus 6 minus n minus n minus 5 minus n. So you now add all this one to 2 which are not in this set. So add everything together it will give you total number of students in that class which is equal to 40. By the time you solve this question add all of them together and do your necessary elimination of n it will give you a final answer 38 plus n is equal to 40 where n is now equal to 40 minus 38 n is equal to 2 that simply means two students only offer the three subjects before i go i'll give you an assignment a very simple one or a classwork rather in a town of 40 people 20 ride bicycle, 15 drive car, and 5 ride bicycle and drive car as well. Find the number of people who neither ride bicycle nor drive car. Thank you very much and God bless you. And we pray that all God will crown all effort with a huge success. Thank you very much and God bless you.